Let's give a few examples. So Brazilian beef uh, exports, um, not all beef that is exported from Brazil is the same. One example is that some of the exports are in the form of live cattle. Now the live cattle market, which mostly goes to the halal markets of the Middle East, our data show is associated with over four times the deforestation that's linked uh, to fresh meat exports. So it immediately provides us with a jumping off point for identifying, okay, this is a sector that really needs attention. Another really interesting dynamic is that we've seen a real spike in the demand for Brazilian meat exports in, in, in recent times, particularly in light of the African swine fever uh, that's affected so devastatingly the production of pork in China. But not only, uh, exports of meat from Brazil have gone up. Now, wherever we see a, a spike in exports in, in Europe due to the authorization of a new state and being put on mouth disease free, or in the US or in China, we see a spike in deforestation linked to those exports. And why is that? It's because more deforestation on average in all of Brazil's biomes is linked to the domestic market. But when demand for export markets goes up, it needs to take the extra supply from the regions that were otherwise producing for the domestic market. And then they then the exports become more associated with deforestation.